going on a little Welsh adventure. I'm gonna do lengths. We are gonna be the most attractive couple down there. Oh, I don't like it. What is that? Sweet heavens, that's good. Don't look at me like that. I'm not being funny. Let's wait for the sound. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. We are currently in the car because today's vlog is going to be a little staycation to Wales. By the way, I'm here with Lou. Say hello. Hello. There he is. So for Christmas, we were very fortunate and very spoiled by Lou's mum and his stepdad and they have bought us a voucher for an overnight stay at the very famous Celtic Manor in Caleon. Well, it's Newport, but Newport. it's basically Caleon. Which is the perfect excuse for us to have a staycation and a little getaway, but also to go back to Wales to see all of Lou's family. So we've got our overnight stay this evening. We've got spa access, dinner, breakfast, the lot, in a beautiful room in the Celtic Manor. And then the rest of the week we're spending with Lewis's family, which I won't vlog because that's gonna be special time that I don't really wanna ruin them, do you know what I mean? We're in the car, it's just under three hours, and we're very excited about it going on a little Welsh adventure. We've got snacks in the car, we've got water, we've got Stevie Wonder blaring, and it's a stunning way to start a Tuesday morning. into our room and gone on a little bit of an explore inside the resort. We have booked in our dinner for this evening, which is at a restaurant called Pad. What kind of food is it? It's that Asian, Asian fusion food, isn't it? Which will be delicious. We checked the menus of all of the restaurants in the resort. There's like a steak restaurant, a grill, Pad, and some other restaurants here. But Pad had the best vegan options. They had like spring rolls, bao buns, curries, stir fries. So we're very excited about that. So we've booked in now for our visit to the health club. So there's an amazing spa here with a gym, sauna, steam, pool. So we're going to get changed, do a bit of a workout session and then we're going to go for a swim, which I'm very excited about. I've not been swimming in so long. I actually bought a pair of goggles. I'm going to do lengths and I'm going to use goggles. going to get changed now and then we'll head down to the health club. Session. Are you trying to get in the camera? No, I'm just looking at it. That's weird. He's just literally his face is like right up to the screen, just watching. Prove it. Don't move. You little shit. Anyway, so we just had a little session followed by a berry smoothie. I'm feeling very yummy mummy at the moment. This is a very love. Not, I'm not pregnant. I just mean like it's a yummy mummy experience. We're just on a Tuesday afternoon. We've just come for a spa day basically. Um, had a lovely smoothie and now we're gonna get in our robes. So we're gonna put on our swimwear, get in our robes, take our books down to the pool, have a little swim, sauna steam. Um, but I thought I would just explain that like, when Lou and I come away to somewhere like this, 
we love exploring all of the facilities all of the equipment we love training we're a bit like dogs if we haven't been walked and we haven't been exercised we get a little bit restless just because we know it benefits our mental health as well as our physical health but i just feel like sometimes if i show doing a workout when i go away i don't want it to ever come across that like that's what you should be doing if you want to go away and completely rest and switch off then that's what you need to do and you need to listen to your body and your heart but when we go away we do like to do a little session not anything major that was literally 30 minutes in and out and now we're going to go and rest and chill by the pool but I just thought I'd just explain that because I would never want someone to come onto this vlog and then think oh my god when she goes away she trains I should do that too because if it's not right for you it's not right for you but it's so calm here isn't it the spa area is very like health spa there's loads of oh, there's a rainbow can you see if you yeah, squint that's nice, that's nice. He, do he just doesn't care he's just like let's go swimming so on that note, let's go swimming. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to do like actual lengths or just like dip in the pool and stop it? We are going to be the most attractive couple down there, aren't we? Oh my God, look at us. I'm not being funny. <laughs> Stunning. <gasps> you look like a condom. Does it make you go faster? Yeah. Can I do this? We had a lovely time at the pool. I didn't film too much of it because other people were there swimming, having fun, just feels inappropriate. So we've ordered some room service. It's half four and our dinner isn't until seven. I'm freaking hungry. So I'm gonna show you what we got. Yum, 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 yum. Yum. Oh my God, look at this. Let me show you. We've got the chunkiest of fries. Look at them. Stunning. Oh, oh. Oh my god, that's so hot. Christ, my esophagus is on fire. Sorry about that. And then we got some avocado toast. The, I'm filming this terribly, let me flip you around. The avocado toast with peppers and tomatoes and then some chunky chips. And this is just a reminder to anyone. If you are hungry and your body is telling you that you need food, you need to eat. It doesn't matter if it's outside of meal times. It doesn't matter if you've already just eaten. If your body is still hungry, you need to fuel it and you need to listen to it. And this is something that took me a long time to unlearn after my eating disorder. I would feel so guilty for eating outside of mealtimes or for snacking or all of these things. But like my body was telling me I was hungry because maybe I didn't eat enough yesterday or maybe I didn't eat enough at lunch or maybe I've been more active today, which I definitely have been. So your girl's eating. She's not feeling guilty for it. And you shouldn't either. Sweet heavens, that's good. Do you know what I love about room service? The mini ketchups. Wait for the sound. Marvel, it's time to be alive. No, if you come out naked, I am filming. I don't mind. I'll watch it back later. Dinner and a show. Who got that? That's the bruschetta. Hell yeah. Avocado toast bruschetta. Where's my laptop gone? I moved it for my food. Do you want a chip? They look good. I actually will have one. Also, the Welsh accent is so warm. Yeah? Yeah, there was this like, the older guy that just came in and served the food. Yeah. And he was like, are these the chips you wanted? And I was like, yeah they are and he was like we usually have really skinny ones so it's your lucky day mm. but in like this thick welsh accent and i was nice. just like you're a great man nice. mm. i like it here there's just something that sets my heart on fire when you get hot chips sent by a room service with a mini ketchup your boyfriend's in a towel you're in a robe good day right my darlings i have done nothing this afternoon we did a bit of work and then we chilled and now i have showered and i'm gonna do my makeup but I'm going to be honest, whenever I go away to somewhere like this, obviously I want to look nice. I want to look nice for myself. I want to look nice for my man. I want to make sure that I don't look like a troll for the people in the restaurant that we're about to go to. However, I just feel a bit uninspired when it's literally downstairs because I'm like, whatever I do now is going to make the getting ready for bed process longer. Which means, I mean, my hair looks wild right now. It's going to make the getting ready for bed process longer, which means we're going to get to sleep later, which means I have more makeup to take off. So I actually can't really be asked, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know why I did that massive intro. I'm going to do like a really, really basic, um, glowy base, and then like a bit of an eyeliner, and then a bit of a lip liner. So this, let me show you the lip liner that we are working with today, guys. Fuck's sake. 
well, there might not even be one to play with, if I'm honest, because it ain't here. Oh, here it is. This is a MAC lip liner from 1995. No, I'm joking, I wasn't born then. Um, from like graduation, when was that? Fucking old mold now. That's what we're working with today. And I also left my hair natural, which was a big mistake. Basically, I have naturally wavy curly hair, right? However, I have straightened, curled, and blow dried it to within an inch of its life, to the point where now, it just doesn't stay curly. It's dry, the curl pattern is just totally ruined. Um, and I'm on a mission to get it back because as much as I feel like I've nailed the kind of wavy, curly, blow dry, bouncy look, it's just very time consuming. And I just know that it's damaging my hair and I just sometimes would love to be able to just have natural hair and not have to worry about it. So that's what we're trying to do. However, it doesn't look too cute right now and I don't really know what to do with it because it's day one of that kind of natural curl training, if you will. I'm actually documenting it on my Instagram. Um, I'm just going to be trying loads of different products and loads of different techniques because there are a lot of people embracing their natural curls and sharing their secrets, which we love to see. So I'm literally going to steal every tip and trick until I find something that works and I will let you know what that is if and when it happens. I'm very excited for, for, for tonight, for, 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 for tonight's food. Uh, I also said to him I really want to go for a walk. Did you hear that? That was my foot. I also really want to go for a walk tomorrow because I've not, I've shown you like inside the hotel, but I've not shown you like the grounds and they're pretty beautiful. So there's these lodges that are built that are absolutely stunning and you can stay in there with like families and stuff and they're like these wooden cabins that look absolutely gorgeous. So if we do go on a walk, I'll show you those. And I'm so excited because Lou is really close with his family and they're just like the most amazing family to marry into. We're not engaged. We're not going to get engaged for a long time, but I already feel part of the family, do you know what I mean? I've been around for a long time. I've spent a lot of time with them and I just adore them. So I am really looking forward. We've got like our date night tonight and then we go and see everyone tomorrow, which is going to be just gorgeous and I cannot wait. But I left um, loads of my makeup at my friend's house on the weekend, so I literally don't have half of my makeup bag, which is... Great, stunning, love that for me. I also haven't tried on the outfit that I'm planning to wear this evening, so that could go tits up too. Again, stunning for me. Right, I'm gonna go finish getting ready and I'll show you the finished look when I am done. Pray for me. Right, so we have done the makeup and it's now just about taming the hair, which is just proving difficult. The bangs with a the blow dry, they work. Bangs with natural hair, I look like I have an actual mullet. So I'm just trying to tame it with some water. And I've also got some of the Cantu Comeback Curl in a little travel pot. But I'm trying to salvage this hair so that it looks presentable for dinner, but I'm not too sure how it's gonna go down, if I'm honest. It's just pure frizz, there is no curl, and I think I'm just making it worse by scrunching it, but we move. If anyone has naturally curly hair and they've had to retrain their curl pattern, please leave a comment and help your girl out because I am lost. What is that? It's pissing me off. Right, right, I'm gonna go try my outfit and just pray to God that that works. If not, we give up and we just have good food, right? Just go and have a lovely time with my hunk of a man who's been waiting for me for 25 minutes at this point. Sigh. Okay, I've given up on the hair at this point, but I've just got a little shirt on with a green little sweater vest. I don't know if I like the vibe, but it's the only thing I packed without trying it on. So at this point, there is no turning back. And I've got some pink shoes on. I don't think I like it. Dinner was sensational, it was so nice. We're in the Celtic Manor Resort, but the Celtic Manor originally started as a manor house. I don't know if you care about this, but we just read it all on a wall and it was fascinating to read. And so we walked over to the manor house. It's all covered up, so like you just walk through the buildings, they're all connected. So the building that we were in was slightly more, kind of more old fashioned than this one, wasn't it? Way more. We went there and there's this Asian fusion restaurant, which was really tasty. There was also a bar and they had really good vegan options actually. So we had the spring rolls. I was really sad on the 
menu there was cauliflower bao buns, but they couldn't make them vegan. So we had a cauliflower salad, Sri Lankan curry, Asian greens, some Thai fries, which was stunning. I'm very full now, but we've decided, we've checked the weather, it's supposed to rain from 9 a.m. tomorrow. So we've decided to get up around seven-ish to go on a walk around the grounds and just explore a little bit and then come back and plan our morning from there. But we are gonna sleep now and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. We're actually gonna be actual grandparents and read our books because Lewis is reading a book at the moment. Don't look at me like that. It's very inappropriate. <laughs> no, we actually are gonna read our books because we're so full to do anything else. We'll do something else after. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna read our books. And Lewis is reading a book at the moment called Shantaram, which is about an Australian fugitive that escapes to India. And I'm reading a book by Taylor Jenkins Reid, who is one of my favorite authors. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off now and I'll see you in the morning. Let you know what we get up to. Lots of love. Well, what an incredible time we have had. We spent this morning exploring. We went on a walk around one of the golf courses. Lewis has just told me that there's apparently three here. We drove up to the Hunter Lodges to see some of the beautiful lodges on the 2010 golf course. We had breakfast. We went to the sauna. We sat in the sauna for about 20 minutes, didn't we? It's lovely. Went in the hot tub, checked out, and now we are in the car ready to head to see <coughs> all of Lewis's family. So this is actually where I'm going to end the vlog now because I want to just be present when we're spending time with his family and stuff. But just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I say every single video, these Saturday uploads are an excuse for me to catch up with you guys, but also for you guys to catch up with me as well. So please leave me a comment. Let me know how your week has been. Let me know how you're feeling. And I will be back next week at 10 a.m. with another video for you. If you did enjoy it leave a little thumbs up and i'll see you very very soon lots of love